thanks for tuning in to your Arsenal Advisor. Today's video is going to be about taking a pin and welded muzzle brake off of a standard AR-15 barrel. Um, not necessarily exactly how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to show what I'm doing on my, my Okay, so why this is important is because let's all take a trip down memory lane back to 1994. Uh, I think Bill Clinton was the president, there was a big movement to uh, create the assault weapon ban and AR-15s were allowed to be sold if they had a, a muzzle brake on it. So manufacturers made a muzzle brake that looked kind of like the standard A2 birdcage flash hider and then they took off the bayonet lug from the, the front sight base. So fast forwarding to 2004, that assault weapon bill, it sunsetted. When it was enacted in 1994, it was automatically, in 10 years, going to go out of, out of effect. So, that made it legal for you to put the proper industry manufactured devices back on your barrels. So, um, that's what I did. So, during the assault weapon ban, I bought a Rock River Arms LAR-15 in the A2 style. But originally it came with a 20 inch barrel that had a front sight base with no bayonet log and this goofy unuseful muzzle brake that's pinned and then welded over. So when the, the law became legal to have those uh, items, I sent it back to Rock River Arms and for a fee and cost of the barrel they put on a, uh, a standard barrel with the, the normal bayonet log and the normal flash suppressor that comes on. and AR-15 A2. So I'm going to go put this aside. So, ever since then I've had this extra barrel laying around with the, the assault weapon band, uh, front sight base, and this muzzle brake and I decided that I might be able to get the muzzle brake off. Um, so what I've found with uh, communicating with other people out on the internet um, and uh, the manufacturer, Rock River Arms, they just mentioned that they, they pin and weld it on the muzzle brakes at the 6 o'clock position, which is the bottom of the barrel. It's, it's upside down as mounted in the vise. So, yesterday I, I was trying to drill through the weld, found it to be very hard, and I, I drilled off to the side where there was no weld and found that uh, the drill bit was having an easier time getting through the the steel of the muzzle brake. So, since I didn't get too far in trying to do like a, a test drill hole at the six o'clock position, I decided to take a grinder and I'm going to try to grind a flat spot across the top of where the weld mark is until I can try to make out any kind of a circular shape that would indicate the pin that's underneath the weld. Okay, after a little bit of grinding, I've determined I found a circle that's indicative of the pin that was underneath the welding. So at this point, I'm going to attempt to drill the pin uh, a little bit more, so possibly I can drill it to below the depth of the threads and then, then unscrew the muzzle device in a conventional manner. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it's going to go because I don't know how much the, the welding rod material has affixed itself to the other parts of the front of the barrel. But uh, right now I'm going to go ahead and use the punch to mark the center of that and then I'm going to get ready to drill okay, it. Okay, I'm just at the point where I'm going to start drilling where I've put a center punch mark on where I think I see the pin. Okay, so after I used the grinder, ground a flat spot into the side of the uh, the flash suppressor, uh, and then I saw an outline of where the pin was, so I drilled the pin out with a, a, a drill bit that looked like the same uh, diameter as the pin, and after a while, I didn't want to go too deep, so I took a uh, wider drill bit just to kind of see if I could make a shoulder around the, uh, the thinner diameter uh, drill. So anyway, I, I just repositioned the barrel and the vise uh, clamping on the, um, I guess, the outgoing front sight base. And then I was able to like 
take the uh, the barrel wrench uh, multi-tool and uh, I started to turn flash suppressor and then then I think it sheared the rest of the pin and I can continue to turn the flash suppress suppressor off of the barrel relative to the barrel and I want to continue doing that and hopefully I find that the, the th barrel threads are in, in good shape and then I'll go from there. Okay, so to conclude this video you can see that the, 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 the muzzle brake has been removed from the front of the barrel. You can see a little shiny part on the threads here. I think that's some of the leftover parts of the pin. I, I drilled the uh, pin down enough to the point where I used the wrench. I think I already previously showed that. And there might be some leftover pieces of the pin in there. I'm going to try to clean those threads out. Um, this is the, the brake after it was taken off. You can see the area that I ground down to find where the pin was. It was easy in this case because you could tell where the weld and the pin was done, plus the uh, manufacturer had also said that that's what they do. They weld and pin at the 6 o'clock position. So I found it, drilled it out to where I thought I was very close to the threads, and then applied some torque, and uh, there we have it. The muzzle brake's off. And later on, I'm going to get a uh, front sight base uh, vice block uh, so I can tap out the pins and remove this, but that would be on a uh, later video. So thanks for tuning in to your Arsenal Advisor.